Colorado Springs Mitchell High School. Jeffrey Kendall Sapp excelled in football, baseball, track, and wrestling during his prep career. Among his many accomplishments, Sapp was a state champion in wrestling and garnered all state honors in football. Sapp's accomplishments, both in the classroom and on the field of play, generated scholarship offers from more than 60 colleges and universities. But it was the United States Naval Academy that ultimately lured the young man whose father had been an officer in the Army and whose mother was determined to make sure her children had the very best of opportunities. Standing 5 foot 11 and weighing less than 200 pounds, Sapp played nose guard for the midshipmen. He regularly took on offensive linemen who outweighed him more than 50 pounds and won. As a senior, Sapp was elected co-captain of the team and anchored the defense by recording a team-best 143 tackles. He was described by Navy head coach George Welch as the best defensive middle guard in the nation, an assessment quickly supported by other coaches, including the Air Force... Anchors Away, the history of Navy football, presented by the Military Channel. Enjoy the show. On a football field or the arenas of battle, success is dependent upon strong leadership, the indomitable will to confront any obstacle, and the courage to persevere no matter how difficult the circumstances. One man who mastered the art of beating Army was the winningest coach in Navy football history. George Welch's seven triumphs in nine games over Army began with the rivalry's most lopsided victory. But Welch's success carried beyond his battles with Army. His 1975 defense, featuring nose tackle Jeff Sapp and All-American cornerback Chet Muller, ranked fourth in the nation. And he went on to become the only Navy coach to earn three bowl appearances. I didn't want to be here. I tried to leave on three different occasions. I did. It was too tough, too regimented, and it was just hard. When I graduated, I said, I'm never, ever going to come back here. But it's a funny thing with time. Suddenly you realize everything had a purpose. And, and if you trace it all the way back, it starts on the football field. Different people with different philosophies, different goals, melded together happily in a game of sport. Among the Saturday heroes you're about to meet, a defensive lineman at the Naval Academy who still doesn't know he may be too small to play in the defensive line. When the middies of Navy send their defensive football team onto the field, it's hard to miss number 61. His name is Jeff Sapp, 5'11", 203 pounds. We had a tough time finding a position for Jeff Sapp when he first came here because we didn't know much about him. Uh, it's, it's an unusual situation in that uh, he was an outstanding athlete, but uh, we didn't know what kind of an athlete we were getting when, when he came here. He did a great job for us last year. It was, uh, it was not unusual for him to dominate the game by himself in a lot of ways, where he'd make upwards of 10, 15 tackles in one particular Saturday afternoon. He runs better than a 4 6 40, which is faster than all of our backs, than any of our backs right now, and he has great instincts. He's strong and tough with great instincts and he's just a natural and I don't think there's a better middle guard in the country than Jeff Sapp right now. He went on to college and played nose guard for Annapolis for Navy and probably never weighed more than 205 pounds. That just doesn't happen. But he did it and he did it very well. I know one time Jeff said that they played Notre Dame and I think he had like 17 unassisted tackles against Notre Dame. Now you know Notre Dame's offensive linemen are big, strong guys, but they couldn't block him. He earned All-America honors, received the Naval Academy's prestigious Silver Helmet Award, and played in the 1976 Japan Bowl. During his distinguished career at Navy, Sapp helped lead the Middies to wins against national powers such as Pittsburgh and Miami and emotional victories over service academy rivals Army and Air Force. He graduated from the Naval Academy in 1977 with a bachelor's degree in American political science and has since earned three master's degrees. Today, Sapp holds a rank of captain in the U.S. Navy, where he's been an aide to the Joint Chiefs of Staff and has commanded six vessels, including a 9,000-ton destroyer. 
Zapp is also an accomplished motivational speaker and spends a great deal of time talking to young people about leadership, determination, and personal character. 